Well, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 definitely. I like that we've never changed it. Yeah. Like, it's been a long time and we've just stuck by the name. Stuck by the name, yeah, yeah exactly. It's, well, Pepsi stuck with Pepsi for a long time and look how well they've done. Well, there you well, go. Exactly, yeah. So, millionaires by next well, year. Well, yeah. Especially 3, with your, 3, 000 3, 000 likes. 3,000 likes. <laughs> maybe a 2,500 <laughs> likes in an hour and a half. Yeah, it's pretty good going, I reckon. Start next year with uh, And uh, where do you take your inspiration from when you're writing music? Bench. Yeah, I take mine from Jamie, so, you know. Well, um, I don't know. We we started when we started the band. We had a geniuses in one band. We had a very we we kind of had a thing <laughs> where Jamie yeah. Jamie was coming from it from a kind of I suppose more of like a kind of Britpop side maybe more like yeah, Oasis yeah. kind of stuff and I guess a bit of like Neil Young stuff like that. And I was coming more from like a Radiohead Killers sort of thing. And I think we've kind of met in the middle. And I think that's always been our sound mm-hmm. somewhere in between. I think yeah, sort of infused between different genres. Yeah, sort of different. It, sounds it's important to us that we sound like a British band as well. Like that's that's a to thing honest, for us. Like, again, like that's. I think we've kind of been sidetracked by us talking about the name a little bit yeah. but actually like the band now it's like it's just an amalgamation of this thing where like Sean brings his like moody like bass thing like since Eddie's come in it's just like like we really do lead from the rhythm section now mm. which is yeah. really cool like I think it used to feel like me and Ben wrote the music and now it's not like that at all and like, we, we may as well say quickly because they've been giving us a hard time about it all week or, or last couple of weeks but when we went in to record last yeah, time our takes. rhythm section got it down in two takes and then me and Jamie oh, were we can't <laughs> say, it. say two takes <laughs> two takes okay right. yeah yeah <laughs> Well, you know, we didn't quite do our part. Not, not two quite takes, in two takes. <laughs> but we got there in the end. <laughs> I think we lost count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, before the wall breaks out, I think I'll pass over to you for your uh, your next live track. Um, so it's called this record. Ben wrote it. And it's yeah, lovely. it's a it's a it's a new one. We've this is the second time I've ever played it. It's a little bit soppy, but so are we. And it's my girlfriend. So oh, nice. Oh. Lovely. Yes.
record only plays hard, bring down and turn it out. We give it something, whoa. It can't be the end of the night. This record only plays hard, bring down and turn it out. Thank you. Thank Feeling you a bit much. emotional as well. Oh, I think I'll be crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pulling on the old heartstring there. It was a very nice song. That's what we do, mate. Think how we feel all the time. <laughs> it must be so tough. It is, mate. Well, is. yeah. We're very emotional men. <laughs> <laughs> Metrosexual is apparently the word. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Uh, I'll get you guys back in about uh, about 10, 15 minutes. All Thank right, you. See you then. More of the same. Fantastic Grand Nowhere. Don't go anywhere. They'll be back very soon. Uh, so uh, let's have a little advert break and we'll be back in a couple of moments. Stay tuned. The Premium Blends Radio Show. That's a little bit of Voodoo Bandits with uh, Psych Beach, and that's uh, due to be released tomorrow. 
uh, Voodoo Bandits are a sort of a surf rock indie quartet from the Isle of Man. Uh, their sound is upbeat and energetic, uh, blending their influence genres together to carve out their own vibrant, full of life sound. Uh, big courses, surfing guitars, uh, and those tight grooves developing that washy soundscapes. Uh, I think that's an absolute cracking track. Great. It really is a great track. So uh, thank you guys for sending it over, and uh, thank you very much for letting me uh, play it. Uh, before it's release, release date very very much appreciated great track by the way uh, right so the next track comes from Crystal Tides uh, and this is only due to be released well again tomorrow on Discro Kid and um, what can I say about these bands that I haven't already said uh, having they played their last five tracks and we've seen them live uh, we know just how good these guys and we can't recommend them enough and now they release their best track to date with Deserter uh, get on board as these guys are not well they're not going to be hanging around and uh, maybe one day I might be able to get them for a live session but to be honest I think it's a fading hope uh, as they get bigger and bigger and uh, this track is now being played on Radio X this week as well apparently mm-hmm. so this is uh, the fantastic brand new track that's due to be released tomorrow from Crystal Tides and this is Deserter <laughs> I won't stop you from moving on I just don't believe you're telling me that you just need to leave To wait a minute, I just cannot see what you're trying to be, trying to be I just don't believe you're telling me that you just need to leave To wait a minute I won't stop There we go, there's a little bit of Crystal Tides with their brand new track that's due out tomorrow. Uh, that is Deserter. Fantastic. Yes, we do love a little bit of Crystal Tides. Uh, right, so uh, let's go over to the live band and obviously I have to ask you uh, one quick question. Uh, you've been together about five years. Where do you uh, see yourself musically over the next five years? Well, we've, we've already played Glastonbury, so I guess uh, yeah. where do we go from here? Yeah, we are. <laughs> 